Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Gizuf Minish Cap Edition. In the last episode, we turned, we got the party to swim, and then we swam around and found all these holes and got the magical boomerang. And now this time, we're going to go into the Temple of Droplets. I'm freezing in here. Yes. If you don't find the element quickly, I'm going to turn to a hatsicle. Hurry up, Joey. So cold. Oh. Oh. What? This floor's made of ice! Be careful not to fall and freeze your backside to the floor, Joey! Of course. Of course, this is the ice dungeon. Link to the Past had an ice dungeon, and I hated it. But that was more the layout of the dungeon being unfair. If you died, you had to do, like, six floors again. That was frustrating. It was more of an endurance test than an actual fun dungeon. The only dungeon in Link to the Past I didn't like. And that's saying something, because the game is supposed to be like, like, critically acclaimed by everyone. There's just one dungeon in the game I really didn't like, was the Ice Temple in the Dark World. It's not fun. Mm. These light sources must mean something. What can mean if I know what they mean, though? I'll figure it out at some point. Hit the switch! I'm always going to push the switch. Ah, it opened up. Okay. Hey, the sunlight's shining through. I had so nice and warm I could feel myself starting to defrost again. Starting to defrost, you say? Well, now that you mention it, this key looks a little bit chilly. So, for that line, hmm, it looks like something's frozen inside this block of ice. Joey, want to go take a look? Hmm, yes. You see, I've learned enough from Pokemon Blue that this is always what you do. Ice block pushing puzzles, you do that. And also, um,. Twilight Princess had block ice pushing puzzles, which are really actually quite annoying. They remind me of real life sliding puzzles, and I'm really not very good at them. My dad's great at them, but I'm awful at them. Never found the interest. Okay. So there's a hole here that I have to fall down. I guess that's nice of the game, at least. At least by not giving me an option, you at least show me where I need to go. Okay, down we go. Do I want to close this for some reason? Oh yeah, I do. I want to close this so I can get back. But first of all, I need to defree... Defreeze? Defrost this key. Hmm. How's the best way to go about doing that? Get it down there. That'll work. Get it over here. I'll be stuck. It'll be stuck then. So I need to get it down... Can I pull these? No. Maybe I can't do it yet, but I feel like I can. This is going to be intricate. Give me something more to it than this. Okay. But if I can push this down there, then this would be... That's it. That's the answer. Okay. I'm going to push this one down. Then push it into this wall here. And push this one over here. Push this one over here. And to the left. I think I figured this out. If my calculations are correct, that switch will also act as a block. So I'll push this over here. And get over this one over here, and then hopefully into the sunlight, and that'll work. I think. Fairly sure. There we go, got the boss key. You got the big keys and open big doors. So I could technically go fight the boss right now. If I could just get out of here, I could just run straight to the boss. But I don't think I'll be able to kill it. I also feel like this was a bit early, and maybe, I, maybe I've just cheaped the game out somehow because I know how to do ice block pushing puzzles. There's only so, there's always one solution, or two, if you're lucky. You just work backwards. How can you get there from where you are now? Sort of thing. Is the dungeon really that small? Or do I need the big key to actually get forward? Hmm. I guess we'll have a look. Hey! Well done, Joey. This looks to be element, all right. But what will you do? We can't even touch you while it's trapped in that ice. We'll need to melt it off somehow. Okay, so this is one of those dungeons where I was supposed to get the boss key first. And then continue on, because this isn't actually the boss. Interesting. Okay. I can comply with that. I can work with that. That's the boss. 
This thing's the boss. You can already tell. So, okay, so let's go through here then. See what we can see. I thought this dungeon would be like super quick, but apparently I'm not so lucky. I got some treasure, but... I got a map! Yay! Let's see what the map has for me. This place is actually fucking huge. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Just what I wanted to hear. That's what that's for. Being able to dive is to get into these blocks. And also to find things like I did before. I don't need rupees, but I still take them. Why wouldn't I? Free money. Even when you have infinite money, money's still good. Am I right? That's why the rich people like to get richer in this world. Because money's money. Even if you have so much you don't know what to spend it on. Is this just supposed to be suggesting that I could do this? No, 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 it's not. Okay. I, so I thought it was suggesting that I could do this without having to get the ability to swim, but I definitely do need to swim. To even get over here. Whee! Okay. <laughs> I fell down this giant hole. Oops. Yeah, look at that sliding. So good. The way forward is hidden in the bottom of the pot. The bottom of the pot? The way forward is hidden in the bottom of the pot. Okay, I got a key. Thank you. This is a pot. Fairly straightforward puzzle. So I can't actually get this way yet, so I need to go back around. Ah, it's going to be one of those dungeons. A back and forth dungeon. Ah. Avoid! Swim, Link, swim! Okay, let's climb up here. I wonder if there's a way to save trap yourself in this game. Probably not. Nintendo is pretty good at not letting you save trap yourself apart from in Skyward Sword. But we don't talk about that. <coughs> the key door here. Let's see what this one does. Is it, it looks like it goes to a place I've already been to. Is that true? That does. It just leads me down here, though. I can actually use this for some reason, even though I can swim, so... It must be to make myself a platform. Because otherwise, you know, if it's a platform to heavy seas that I can't just get out of normally, it must be it. My puzzle brain works a bit in this game. It makes me work hard. Not that hard, but it makes me work a bit to understand what's going on and why why things are the way they are. Get out of here. You guys are annoying more than anything. You should take this down the waterfall too. I thought I could be really swish and do it all in one fell swoop, but apparently not. Yeah, this is one of those back and forth dungeons. I'm more than happy to backtrack. If the game is good, I love backtracking. Here we go. All right. Turn that off. So I can turn that off at any point now from this side. Let's go up first. Up seems like a good direction. I like up. I always go right last. Simply out of personal preference. Yeah. God's sakes, ice, please. There we go, thank you. Okay, let's go through here. It's a chest that I can't do anything with. I can't push it. That block pushing puzzle. I just love those. I actually really don't, but I seem to be fairly okay at them in this game, so I'm fine with that. Ow! Bug. Ah, this is a block prison puzzle in which I actually need to push some blocks. This one's easy though. I already see the solution. Okay, hang on then. Again. Oh, shit. Don't worry. Again, all we have to do is work backwards. So, you have to get this one. You have to get a block onto this switch, which means it has to hit this one at some point. Which means it has to hit this one at some point. Which means it has to hit this one at some point, and then this one. So the only way that that can happen is by pushing this block downwards. 
and that will hopefully get the solution you want. In 2D space it's a lot easier to figure this stuff out, in 3D space it's a lot harder. At least, in my opinion. Okay, cool. Let's go. That's why I struggle so much with Twilight Princess, but I don't with this game. Okay. Yeah. You want to drop a pot on me? Hey, go ahead. I like pots. I don't like drugs, but I like pot. Wait, what? Yes, I. Oh, for fuck's sake, Joey, please. I'm covered in gunk again. Ugh. These must be dung beetles or something. Fifty rupees. Meh. Whatever. I don't really have anything to spend my rupees on anyway, besides kinstones. This game does a fairly good job of giving me stuff to spend my money on. There's like three ways I can think of to get red kinstones for the price of X amount of money. The first one is shopping in, uh, staying in the inn for 400. That gives me a red kinstone. Um, giving the Goron 300 gives me a red kinstone. Um, and then besides that, there must be other things, but I can't think of them right now. I must get the flame staff or something in here. There's, there's too much ice for it to be simply a coincidence. Or normal water that isn't icy will melt it because technically its temperature is higher than frozen, because otherwise it would be frozen, obviously. It could take a while, but I think things defrost even at 2 degrees. It just takes ages. Or the ice would cool the water so that it wouldn't defrost anymore. That could also be a thing that happens. Joey, where are you? Are you still in there under me? Mm, yes, it's so dark I can't see my beak in front of my face. Oh, watch your step, but I want you to swim over anything. No! Thought that might happen. Okay, so this is that's just like a dark room. Slugs, please. You don't scare me. You do surprise me a little bit when you come from the ceiling, but then I realise what you are and I'm like, oh. Luckily I've already fought these things. I had to to get here. Wah. Leave me alone, you vagabonds. You guys are vagabonds. Trust me. Believe you me, you are the worst kind of enemy. There you go. Have some of that. So this is where the blue portal brings you. Okay. Good to know. So we're about halfway through the dungeon, usually the blue portal means, and the red portal's right at the end. I can't push this on my own, but I can with the help of Linkaru Pusheru, Senor Josepharu. Boom! It's gonna shine some light on it. I'm just gonna melt that block there. Okay. But it's also gonna melt the Octorok. Of course, sunlight wants to get some more sunlight to melt the ice, the element should be as good as ours, yes! That Octavok is going to be born. Ezlo, do you not see? You cannot see the wood for the trees. Can't see the bigger picture. You've got to see with your eyes. Use your eyes, my friend. Uh, I missed a room. This cannot stand. Sorry. No, I didn't miss a room, because it'll end up over there. Okay. <laughs> This can stand. I apologise. <laughs> Let's go. I always jump to conclusions and like, well, I must be awful at the game because I missed something. No, not necessarily. Is this a chesticle that I can get? Is it going to have items in it? Blue kinstone piece I'm always happy to have. Thank you. Nice little slider room. Get over there. Okay. What is that? Um, what in the sweet mother of God is this? Do I even want to know? Okay. What? Um, <laughs> alright then. Guess we'll go this way. Uh, there's pots. There's got to be something good in the pot. Otherwise they wouldn't make me go all the way around this death trap again. It might be uh, there might be nothing good in the pots, but we'll see. Ah, kinstone piece is worth it. 
This stone piece is always worth it. Completion. Got to fight for that completion, baby. Whoa. Okay. It's going to be one of those awkward blocks where I end in the middle of a dungeon, but that's fine. This is Wednesday, the first episode anyway. The second episode on Wednesday might actually finish up the dungeon, and that'll be fine. Okay. Go down here. We need to open this up somehow. Have we been to B3 yet? No, there's only one room, and it's that one. Okay. Push this, then. Is it going to light, find light on the situation? No, it closed the room up above. Alright. Ah, I see. There was no light before, but then there was no anything else before, so I had to do this. And now I have to open this up and it'll actually let the light shine through. Clever. Very clever. Okay. I've got a key. Excellent. Just what I wanted. Just for Christmas. The key is for life, not just for Boxing Day. Okay, here we go. And it through here. Have we got a key room to put the thing in? I'm pretty sure there's a key somewhere I need to use. Aha! Here it is. Okay. Um. This is a trap. What? Oh, it's a giant blue. It's a giant blue chew. Mini boss. Um. Okay. It's electric. What do I do about this? <sighs> what did I do about the other one? Hmm. Is it if it stays in sunlight it gets electric? Or if it leaves sunlight it gets electric? I'm not sure. What did I do to get rid of the first one? Ah, this is it. This. There we go. That's what I did. Okay. Okay. Got it in the bank. I'm stuck then. Okay, good. Thanks for making me not stuck. Is it just a wait? It might just be a waiting game. Okay. I was momentarily confused. Die. Thank you. So I just need to run away from it for a bit, I think. Wait for it to turn off its electricity, and then suck the bath out of it. There we go. No! No! When it's electric, I don't think we can actually do anything with it, so... Get away from me, mini boss. Don't think I'm scared of you, because I'm not. Only a little bit. There we go. This should be it then. This should be, this should be its coup de gras. Goodbye. Gimme. The Flame Lantern! This handy item lights up the night. Press the button to turn it on or off. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to see what we can do with this Flame Lantern. Including this. Does it use oil, though? Or does it turn it on or off? Hmm. Okay, well, that's a question for next time. I'll see you on Wednesday when we complete this dungeon. See you guys then!